Aside from this Halloween update, Pet Simulator X obviously hasn't updated that much throughout the past couple months, and well, people consider it dead. Now, obviously, it has like 300,000 players, so it's not really dead, but it's kind of dying, and if he doesn't keep updating it, you know, who knows what'll happen, but a lot of people speculate that there's a new game on the horizon, and that, my friends, is Pet Simulator Z. I'm kidding. This is actually not made by Preston. It's a, it's a fake game. But I thought it'd be fun. This is called Pet Simulator Z, and it's, you know, it's, 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 it's by Papa Preston. I can't, I can't read the name. I'll actually just show you the name. I can't read the name, but it's just, it's just, uh, yeah, that is, that is the name of the group. Um, I'm not gonna. Anyways, here is Pet Simulator Z. Now, I am one of those people that wants Preston to make a new pet sim. The reason is because Pet Simulator has been out for over a year. It gets kind of, you know, uh, it's hard to explain, but like the numbers get really inflated. Everybody on the leaderboards has like quintillion, quadrillion pet powers. They have so many huge pets. Some people even have like duped and exploited huge pets still at this point. And it just got really, really weird. The economy gets kind of crazy. It's almost time for a reset. Now they could do that in Pet Sim X. They did that with hardcore mode, but it wasn't the same. It was like playing the same game over again but it was way too hard and I just I don't know I think a new pet sim could be pretty good so it's time to play pet simulator z I'm gonna pick this guy because nobody has uh th this guy's not ever been in pet sim I don't think and this I think is Herbert is his name but that's our dude Hubert so we got our one pet but look around here there are not only chests but there are eggs and these eggs you can click on and I don't know if it just like hatches a pet or what happens but there's some things going on here also there's like an anime dude right here. I don't know what that is, but is, is that like an anime pet? Is that Genshin Impact? What the heck is that? Anyways, Hubert's going to take a while doing this egg right here. So we have to check out the rest of the game. Now, a lot of people have huge pets. Not really sure how they got them, but this is obviously, I have to say this, this is a fake game. You should not play it, but obviously like Preston kind of like encourages fake games sometimes and he knows they're going to get taken down right away. So it's kind of funny and memey, but I definitely don't recommend you play this game or spend money on it if there is purchasables because it's obviously obviously like you know it's, it's gonna get taken down you want to buy the mystery gift sorry you need wow <laughs> that's a lot of diamonds okay so they have everything working they have masteries they have achievements they have everything in the game which is pretty oh infinite pets free you say i mean that's kind of sick wait april fools only <laughs> It's probably fake. Donations? No. Redeem? Ooh, what if you could redeem your exclusive codes in here? That's kind of interesting. Boosts? I don't know if they are purchasable. What's OMG Lucky and Pog Lucky? What the heck is that? Anyways, what else do we got here? Is there any pets to buy? It doesn't seem so. So I'm not sure how these people got their huge pets, but I guess you actually have to play the game. Like I was thinking this was going to be like a showcase game. Look, all these people hatching exclusives. How the heck? I'm assuming they're hatching it by these eggs. So we'll let Hubert do his thing but the good news is you start off with like 10 million of all these coins so you can straight up buy stuff can i buy those eggs in the back okay those are christmas ones i can't buy those yet though i do have candy can i get a halloween egg oh there's an egg over there but that costs money what can i buy i guess i could buy these pets and get better ones to start off let's do that let's buy three of these so you start off you can immediately buy these goldens again fake game but imagine if they made a new pet sim and they added a ton of new pets new progression, new zones, and maybe a few new features. I don't know if this guy wants to trade me because he thinks I have good pets, but I don't, I can assure you. <laughs> All right, let's get some better pets to help out Hubert. So we got these guys right here. Let's open another three. The infinite pets equipped would be cool, but I have to go to a VIP apparently to use that. It might be a, it might be an April Fool's. All right, so we got a full team. Let's put them on here. Can we destroy this egg quickly? Not really sure. But now that we got these, oh, we also got a redeemable. Oh, and it gives us an egg. Okay, whoa, that's way too big. <laughs> But you actually just hatch new exclusive eggs for free. So you hatch exclusives. They, I can't believe they got all the systems working in this game. That's pretty impressive. But yeah, you actually just straight up hatch a huge pet. So the good news is I have a huge pet, but the bad news is he's only as good as my noob. So he's not like that good. But once I destroy this egg, I think it'll hatch an Easter pet, which will give me something really OP. But I forgot I can actually hoverboard down. Oh, there's the egg. It's about to be done. Does it hatch? It does. What do we got here? An Easter fox. How good is that? Is it good? Ooh, yes, sir. Okay, so now I can destroy anything instantly and hatch these Easter pets really quickly. And I have my huge pet, so... Oh, that one's actually really buff, though. That one's actually still gonna take a while. So I don't know if I can destroy that. But these, I can destroy really quickly, right? Yeah, so I can hatch these get some good pets. I got a chocolate hippo. 
hot dog. So it looks like in this game, Pet Simulator Z, they basically just like brought back every event at once. So it looks like they have Christmas pets, Christmas currency. They have Halloween pets and Halloween currency. They have the Easter event, which was just the eggs that you click on and hatch, which to be fair, was a pretty cool update. I mean, it was small, but like at the end of the day, the up I'm realizing the updates that PetSim has done over the years have been pretty good, have been pretty substantial. Wow, you can straight up just play the entire game in this, huh? They added everything. Oh, I can't afford this. So this is the point where I start having to grind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> now I got 95 million. No big deal. But all these, oh, a gingerbread. All these eggs are really good to, to break. And these will get me through. But I want to see what's in the lobby. Can I teleport? Free teleport. Nice. So now I can buy all these eggs. But up there, they have the Christmas. Oh, the merchant? They even have the merchant and it's working? That's really impressive. I'm surprised. So you can get the pixel demon, but you can't get it unless you have enough gingerbread. I do not. So we're going to have to hold off on that ourselves. But they actually have trading pause and everything. Like, this is a straight up copy. I wouldn't be surprised if Preston bought this or made this himself. But here's the Christmas pets. So we don't have enough gingerbread. We definitely need more of this gingerbread to get these, but it brought back all the limited eggs. This is the pog egg, the egg that everyone always wants a pet from because it was super limited. It was like a secret egg. That's actually pretty cool. So it's, it's cool to play games like this where they brought everything back. Huge pixel, but that at the same time, it's like it's a fake game. So I don't really want to spend too much time on it. Oh, and you got all of these rewards as well. You can make ghost pets, which is a really cool feature that's not in pets. And what's that about? So ghost pets are dark matters you can turn into ghost after dark matter that's pretty sick i actually like that concept maybe it's something that they could add to pet sim x and expand the life of the game but it's kind of hard here's the halloween egg that's actually re-implemented into the main pet sim x right now also wait what's this coming soon cool so it looks like they're even adding secret areas maybe a hardcore mode i don't know there's even a lock over here what is this travel to sl slime event what the heck is that dude they just straight up add new stuff what is this slime event that's cool so these are new pets they created as pet sim z developers i can't even say that serious because obviously it sounds so silly but yes the game is obviously completely stolen but at least they add, they're they adding some stuff. Like a lot of stolen games that I've seen, they don't add anything new and the game is like broken. This actually functions just like Pet Simulator X. Not that I recommend you play a, a, a fake game, but you know, at the same time, it's kind of sick. All right, so now I have a 1.4 quintillion slimed cat, which is actually huge and insane. And then we have the Slipner, which is really good as well. So now, oh, everyone's, I was gonna say, I'm almost on the leaderboard, but everyone is at 9.2 quintillion. A lot of people play this. There's like thousands playing it. So should I buy more slimed eggs? I feel like these are like the best pet in the game. I'm gonna buy like one more set of three because they're really good. And then, oh, a rainbow slimed cat. That's pretty sick. Okay, so now that I have that, I have some of the best pets pet power wise in the game. And as I'm doing that, I'm realizing that it doesn't matter at all because this is a fake game. <laughs> But I wanted to play this game because one, I wanted to see what it was like, a fake little pet sim game that was called Pet Simulator Z that had a lot of players and a good rating. But at the same time, I wanted to see what you guys think of another pet sim. Do you think that Preston should make another pet sim do you think that he should just start updating Pet Sim X or do you think he should make a brand new game? The reason I think he should make a fresh game, I've already said, basically because like simulators don't have that long of a shelf life. Everybody wants simulators to keep updating, but at a certain point, the numbers get so inflated, it gets a bit confusing and it's hard to tell what's going on. And it's, you know, there's just, there's only so much you can update. Oh! Oh, a huge Easter bunny guaranteed in the orange eggs? No way. And I'm, am I stealing it from these guys? So I don't know if you get a huge Easter bunny guaranteed, but I got one. Yeah, you don't. Wow. I got really lucky then, huh? Is it actually not guaranteed? That's kind of insane because it's really rare. I remember in the, in the main game, I never got one, but that's actually pretty sick. So now I can buy the gingerbread egg and all the rest of those Halloween ones. So let's go over here real quick. We can buy the Halloween egg. I wonder if it just guaranteed gives you a, a huge... I don't know if it does, but okay. We got a ghoul horse mythical, no big deal. But again, these are the old Halloween pets. They're not gonna be that good. And then over here, all of these Christmas ones. And I gave away my huge Santa paws, which was so sad, but it is not in this game. Wow, I thought it would be. All right, let's buy one of these. Let's buy one of these eggs, the gingerbread egg. You remember? 
You remember these? There's the golden festive elf. So yeah, these are all the events brought back. This is Pet Simulator Z. It's pretty cool to play a game like this, but obviously it should get deleted pretty soon, even though it's a fake game. I will leave it linked in the description and it's a game that I don't recommend you play, but like whatever. I mean, I'm sure Preston doesn't care at this point. These games don't really take business from him. They don't really charge anything. I don't think you can like spend money. Oh, that's kind of interesting that you can exchange currency. That honestly might be something that would help pets him, pets him X. But anyways, we got some cool huge pets. We got uh, some random event pets. Where's my huge Easter bunny? Wait, what? I like hatched it, but it's not here. Oh, it just looks different on the actual icon. That's funny. But I got myself some cool pets and uh, yeah, it was, it was fun to mess around in this. Look at all those huge pets. Pet Simulator Z. Wowza. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. My new game, Tapper Simulator, is out, so definitely go play that. Link in the description. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of Preston potentially making a new pet sim. Would it be called Pet Sim Z or would it be called Pet Sim X2? Also, look at this guy. He's on a hoverboard and it's a little Elgato. Oh, now it's a Digito. It is actually a Digito hoverboard. Is there a Russo hoverboard? That would be sick. Okay, next time, next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe and goodbye.